Distal femur fractures and non-union. The use of fibular graft. The physician may be faced with some complex distal femur fractures or non-union where the bone stock is not adequate or the fixation may have failed or a bone graft may not be able to be obtained from the patient. In some of these cases, I use intramedullary fibular graft in addition to the plate. The intramedullary fibular graft technique can be used in complicated cases, comminuted fractures with osteoporosis, failure of traditional methods of fixations, complex non-unions, complex subracondylar periprosthetic fractures. How do you do the technique? You will find the starting point which is the center of the intercondylar notch just superior to the Blumen sac line. You will insert a guide wire after reduction of the fracture. Then you ream over the guide wire to the appropriate size of the fibular graft, which you may need to fashion slightly. Make sure you change the beaded guide wire to a smooth one and put the fibular graft through the guide wire into the medullary canal across the fracture or the non-union. If the medullary canal of the fibula is small and it will not go through the guide wire, then put the fibular graft freehand. Make sure the fibular graft is not prominent through the joint, then after that fix the fracture or the non-union with a plate, preferably a log plate. You can augment the fixation with bone graft, allograft, or bone graft substitute. This procedure can also be helpful in very prosthetic fractures of the distal femur. If the prosthesis is stable, you will do fixation of the fracture or the non-union. It will be ideal to use a plate fixation after insertion of intramedullary fibular graft, especially if the bony stock is very poor and if you can pass the fibular graft through the femoral component. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.